Hi, this is Ron with Envision Cat. Today we're going to do a quick tip on adding a spot elevation to a train element in Select Series 4 using Open Roads technology. What we have on the screen here is an existing uh, ground train element. It really doesn't come into play for what we're doing today, but also has uh, a boundary for the top of the said basin, and I also have a feature in there that represents the uh, bottom of the said basin, a sloped element. But I also want to add a spot elevation for a low spot down at this end. If I want to query this really quick, we can just use the analyze point command, and I can see that this feature ends at elevation 998. I just want to throw something in here at say 996 to illustrate how the tool works. So that's what we have. So I'm going to go to general geometry and I just want to add a point. And I want a 3D point, specify the elevation, the feature definition, and the feature name that we're going to add. And I'm just going to go in here and select a location for that point that I want to add. That's the only one I'm going to add, so I'm just going to right click out of the command. Now we do have that 3D point created, we now need to add that to our train element. So I'm going to go to my train model command, I want to add a feature. Which train model do I want to add it to? It's the uh, one that we have active, the basin. I'm going to add it as a spot feature. So I'm going to select it and just step through the prompts here and that's automatically added now. Maybe I shouldn't say automatically, but that's added to my train element. And if I want to just double check, I can use my analyze point command off of this task menu. And I can see now that that low spot's been added in there. That's it for this tip. Thank you for watching.